<laughs> the old fake out. <laughs> well, hello there. My name is HW. I'm the Suze. And um, today I want to talk about, um, what are we talking about? Let's talk about toggling. Yeah. This I saw this come up um, on Facebook the other day, mm-hmm. and some dudes were talking about, what do you, why, do, why would you want to put two effects on the same effects button? Yeah, these switches up here. Yeah, the four mm-hmm. switches up here. Um, so we made a new performance, or rather we will make a new performance right now and show you how couple ways it might be useful. Here's just a couple ways it might be useful. Here, let me let me make a brand new performance so people can see what we're doing. Okay, brand new performance. This is the crunch sound that everyone knows whenever you go to make a new performance. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that. Everyone knows it. It's a good sound. Yeah, sure. Play a little bit. <laughs> it's a good sounding telly. <laughs> I'll give you that. Okay, so uh, in my opinion, building performances is a little bit easier on the head and toaster unit mm-hmm. because copy and paste is there and it's a little easier to lock your stomps mm-hmm. and do all that stuff. It's certainly doable on here, but it's better. It's going to be better on the editor too. Right. Okay. I'm going to dial in an effect here called uh, uh, low B2. Okay. This is the tweed, twin low profile? Yeah, twin low B2. And I'm going to turn that off. So we've got nothing on this one. Let's set up this this way. Let's go to the next rig. Sorry, next rig. And I'm going to assign the same rig again. And that's going to be B2. And we're going to look at two different ways that we can use this toggle feature. Okay? Mm -hmm. This might be our first sound. Mm -hmm. Tweed Twin Low B2. This is the bright channel of a a low-powered Tweed Twin um, amplifier. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like this with a telly. Sounds great. Mm-hmm. Now let's say from here we um, we could turn on another overdrive or something, but maybe we don't want to do that because we want to have our rig two be sort of the next stage up. Mm-hmm. And for that rig two, there we go. Let's. I'm going to unassign these just so we can do it all together, and. Um, now let's say that you want to have rig two just have a light drive, that same sound but a light drive, mm-hmm. right? Okay. What we might do is come in here and say on my rig two, I want to have the soft shaper on. So boom, soft shaper's on and that sounds like this. <laughs> So save that real quick. So now I've got rig number one. Clean. Now I'm going to come down here and I've got rig number two. Same rig, but um, I've got the soft shaper on it. Now, Mm -hmm. HW, why wouldn't you just use rig one and turn on B? Here could be a reason, a very logical reason. I could be setting this up for one song the intro could be clean, mm-hmm. and it could have a dotted eighth. And here, uh, so, yeah, number two, it could have, I might want it a little dirtier, but it's got a quarter note. Mm-hmm. So I want to make those edits and change all that, and I don't just want the same profile with Soft Shaper turned on. Right. That's a logical reason that could come up, right? Mm-hmm. Now, let's say for this sound, though, we decide I'm going to assign uh, that Soft Shaper and so boom, it's always on, right? So I'm gonna save it because it's always on. I've mm-hmm. it's it's on. Now, what if I want to go for a solo boost? I could do two things here. I could just add the green screen. In fact, let's try that. Play a little, I'll turn it on. The other thing I could do is in a case where I, I know I always want a B or a C, one of one drive on or another one, mm-hmm. I could actually program the green screen to toggle, right? Mm-hmm. And now if I save it, I have a choice of having either the stomp, the soft shaper on, or having a green screen. So it turns off the soft shaper while it turns on the Exactly. Green Just toggles screen. between the two. Try that. Right, it saves the 
saves you from tap dancing and trying different Exactly, things. yeah. Mm -hmm. It gives you choices. You could do this with a million things, though. Mm -hmm. We were talking earlier, maybe you've got... Maybe you've got a verse 2 sound. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, verse 2 is always where I'm throwing in. That's usually when you're talking about recording stuff. That's usually where you throw in some other part, right. some counter melody. That's usually where I'm turning on a tremolo, mm -hmm. turning on a chorus. We've been through verse 1. It's the Maybe. experimentation It's verse. the experimental, <laughs> it, right? right. It, writing the songs, there's the verse 2 curse. Mm -hmm. Playing guitar, there's the second verse curse. Right. That's what they call it. Second yeah, verse curse. Yeah, that's right. Now yeah. what do we do? Second verse curse. Now what do we do? How do we make verse 2 interesting? Mm -hmm. Well, on the guitar, you just recently, we did the Suze uh, Arshall template. Right. And it, we had a video called Ultimate Kemper Worship Tone, mm -hmm. you know? And you throw on some lovely uh, tremolo and chorus, chorus there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Um you could totally set that up where you know that's the sound you want, but you either want chorus or you either want tremolo. You could set that up. Right. You gave me another thing that you can do, and I'm just going to, um, uh, well, let's just do it. Let's just set okay. up a number three, and um, let's say that here we want uh, a little more gain, so we're going to go to low B4. And, uh, oh, shoot, I just did that on number three. Uh, well, okay. It's not like we're going to save this performance. Okay. Low B4. Boom. Here we go. Um, here's the sound of this delay. That's an eighth. Mm -hmm. Eighth note, right? Um, let's just, for the sake of this conversation, say, no, I want this sound. Sometimes I want to be able to go to a dotted eighth, right? Here's where I would come right here, and I'd go down to delay, and I'm going to find uh, a single delay, and we'll go to the, maybe I want... A, a, a bison, which is supposed to be like the Benson Echo Rec. Hmm. To one stomp here. I'm going to assign the other one to one stomp here. Now, what I've got is eighth note delay. Dotted eighth note delay. me for a second because it said off, but it's because we were looking at the other oh, delay toggled, straight, right? Yeah, so hmm. you can see, when I go to the, the eighth, you can hear a delay here, but it's, it's the dotted eighth that's off. Right, the dotted eighth is off. Okay. So if I were to go uh, here, use this button here. Yeah, you can see him toggling. Yeah. So this is the guy that one always wants a delay on. But he doesn't want to have to turn does, one off and turn one on. Does the Sunday morning guy ever want to delay off? It, yeah. It's so rare. <laughs> it's, yeah. I would it's even on. venture to say that even when I'm playing just very rhythmic parts, mm -hmm. I always have a light delay. I've always yeah. got some verb on. A space. There's always a little bit there. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, it may be in a hard stop, mm -hmm. but I don't even feel like live in a hard stop. You know, where the whole band stops right. and then comes back in, I almost a little, a little eighth is definitely okay. Right. If you don't have the feedback going a bunch, but mm -hmm. if you're talking about, if you're playing rhythmically and you have an always on delay, your mm -hmm. feedback is probably not more than one, one and a half repeats or something right. like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is a cool trick, huh? It's not, I just was sitting here thinking of another use for this. Like sometimes uh, I think a type of effect would demand that another type of effect would go away. Mm -hmm. Like if there was a band break or something and I wanted to hit a chord, that was really thick tremolo sound with no reverb at all. You know, you, you, totally. could, you could assign your reverb slot to have a tremolo on it, 
Yeah. You know, so Here, let's that, do it. Yeah. So it'd be really ambient verb, but when you Unfortunately we've now set this this one up so we well let's let's just do it here. We'll we'll go over here. We we set that patch up to have a uh, here, we'll do B six. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna assign the reverb to be here. Boom. Mm -hmm. We've got the verb. Okay. Now here's a vibrato. And I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna put the rate let's just make a crazy effect. Go ahead. <laughs> It's totally dry. Uh huh. I'm gonna turn that reverb on. I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna hit that. Now, we've got the verb, so you can be playing your thing. You don't have to hit two buttons at that critical moment. You can just grab just it. You one. can now. You could that could take up a whole spot, mm -hmm. but it's a cool thing to just have on. Mm -hmm. One of these five, you'll probably find a spot where you don't need all of these, and you can you can have the tremolo trick there, right. where the rest could all be used for different morphing of delays, yeah. different times, different all sorts of stuff. Yeah, because morphing can do what we're talking about, but sometimes you want to dedicate yeah. that just to reverb higher or lower. Or yeah, you could totally have a tremolo effect on all the time mm -hmm. and then just raise that mix up and and have no ramp mm -hmm. on that and turn it on instantly. Right. You could do that with morphing. Mm -hmm. Here's just another thing you might do. Yeah. And another way to think about it because if you're like you like you and me, we both use morphing pretty much for the delay and verb. Mm -hmm. Like I like to think of morphing as more and less. So like I have on my personal performance that I use mostly on the weekends I have my like one of my rigs set up so that it's like my normal main sound and then when I morph it up I get a little more delay kind of goes up and the verb goes right. up not that much so it gets more delay driven. I have another sound that's a little more verby and when I morph that one it's I'm still I'm getting even more reverb. Okay. So I've got like I'm still morphing delay and reverb but I'm doing them in different proportion different mm -hmm. different kind of things. This, uh, you know, I, I'm basically turning on and off my modulation. Right. This reminds me of like a, a G2 switcher or like a mm -hmm. boss switcher where you just turn off one pedal, turn on the other at the sure. same time. Sure. Yeah. So it's really handy. Totally. Yeah. Super useful. Toggle. Tip and trick. You can toggle effects on the Kemper. I'm HW. <laughs> I'm the Seuss. <laughs> Play it out, Seuss. <laughs> 